He had harnessed the sun, the energy of the sun. He was no longer working with electricity. He was enthralled with the work of Nikola Tesla. The existing power grid is inefficient. It's not working. It's too expensive and dangerous. We need a better system. I'd love to hear how this sort of manifested because it doesn't just happen overnight. It seems like quite a, a lifetime of work. You're absolutely right. I've been at this for 50 years from theory to practice. When I was a youngster, I was studying Nikola Tesla. I realized that Tesla later in his life had developed free energy, that he had harnessed the sun, the energy of the sun. He was no longer working with electricity. He called it radiant energy, I called it scalar. So my pursuit in life is to bring the world free energy of the sun. That will change our social world. Okay, that's amazing. And you probably almost lose half the people when you say that. But it's interesting because I, I know that a lot of this comes for you from the religious side of things. And I was watching this super fascinating documentary that most people will say is like conspiracy theory. And it was basically talking about like how in the ancient days that the cathedrals of churches were used as electricity conductors to get energy from the sky. And then if you looked at the shape of the, the cities back then, they were all a kind of particular shape. And a lot of them had these waterways. Uh, the electricity was effectively shared throughout the, the towns and villages. Is that way too conspiratorial or is that along your lines of thinking? That, that is accurate. That is accurate. Many pyramids, obelisks have been shown to collect scalar energy. Many geometric forms, even cathedrals, as you mentioned, at least are passive if you will, batteries of scalar energy, the energy of the sun, the stars. Now, the ancients knew that, but for some reason today, this is not mainstream. This should be a mainstream topic. This should be front and center. My proposal is that the existing power grid is inefficient. It's not working. It's too expensive. Energy production is too expensive and dangerous. We need a better system. Nikola Tesla was developing wireless energy that he could extract from the sun. Should have listened to it. Why not? So where did it all change, do you think? Do you know the history of it? I would say Tesla was the first one that developed instruments that could control scalar energy. Nikola Tesla developed two sites in the United States, one in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and another one in Long Island, New York. And both of those installations were able to broadcast wireless scalar energy, energy that he was somehow able to manifest from the sun. Sometimes he called them cosmic. To be clear, it was no longer electricity that was working. The energy was clean. He could transport over a vast distance. He, he contended that it was cosmic energy from the universe. So he was not having to rely upon any type of motor for this energy. Now that is very exciting. If you consider the world on a global scale, spends 10 trillion a year on energy production. And that energy industry, production and distribution is dangerous. It pollutes. It requires a great deal of maintenance. If we would have listened to Tesla, we could have reduced our energy costs dramatically. And we would have safe, clean energy without any chemical position, without any type of chemical pollution. What do you think is stopping us from doing it now? It is a money-making machine. But behind me is a scalar energy instrument. It's on, it's operating. I just want to quickly demonstrate what I mean by this. If I hold the light bulb in my hand, place it close to the instrument, wow. the light bulb will illuminate. So there's plenty of energy coming off that instrument. Now, if I can do that locally with the light bulb, Eventually, I want to be able to do that at distance and illuminate a million light bulbs. And I'm getting there. I'm working on certain types of engineering that will allow me to produce that type of energy. So what I have behind me is a working model, free energy for the future. Now, to, to be very clear, there are many people who want this, but there is a power elite that does not want their money street interrupted by free energy. So if you will archive this discussion, because in five years, 10 years from now, you'll see free energy on the horizon. And many people will start to realize that this is the future, that we need to make that shift from fossil fuels to free energy.